Hello everybody, it's time to do a barrel roll, and once again we're back in Monster Hunter Stories 2. When we last left off, uh, I think Ratha got kidnapped? Was that what happened? I don't remember, actually, it's been a bit. Um, as you can see though, I didn't change my arm or anything, which I said I was going to do in the previous episode, but I kind of thought about it and I realized I can't really do that. So, I'm going to keep pushing through with the armor I have. If I lose a battle, uh, I might d either dedicate an episode or I might just do that live stream I spoke about. I, I didn't mean to not do it, I just kind of ran out of time. And I also didn't think it through completely. I was like, oh, I should probably not do it, it's going to spoil the um, the story. Uh, not the story, but spoil what I did in the previous episode. So i got to work out a way to mitigate that. So what I might end up doing is maybe on one of the uh, off days, or even on the, on the Friday after the episode comes out, I might do a live stream then. That way it will... Um, that way I won't spoil anything, but I'll have to plan that ahead, so I do apologize in advance. So for today we're just going to pursue the airship and try to get Ratha back, and we'll go from there. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> but something tells me I've made this a lot harder for me myself than it needs to be. I, I did want to spend a little bit of time farming a little bit and living up a little bit, but we'll see, we'll see. If it's fine, then it's fine, so best case scenario is I don't die. The worst case scenario is... Uh oh. <laughs> so there we go. So we do need to follow these tracks to find the um... thing. I hope everyone's had a good good weekend and stuff. I realize they're doing these on the on the week on the Monday. So... But um... Yeah, we do have a red end here so we will, we will do this red end here as well. That'll just be good for XP and all that jazz. Let's see what we can do here. I'm hoping that it's a new monster, but I'll take an old monster. I don't really mind at this point. I kind of just need more monsters, really. So I gotta start also doing the um, doing the thing I wear, like you use them to learn other skills as well. I've been a little bit lazy there. Oh, this is a very short one. No monsters in this. This might be our chance. Okay, so this is a very short, uh, very empty rare monster den. So let's try to go, let's try to go for a new golden egg. Now I'm probably gonna forget what eggs I've actually got, so I do apologize if I grab a duplicate egg, but I will do my best to grab a new one. Why can I not get off this, this animal? There we go. Alright, so we've got plain Jane egg straight off the bat. That's not the one I want. No, not that one either. A tiger X. Do we have a golden egg? What do we got here? Ooh, so we do have a Golden Tiger X. Now, we've already got that one, so we're going to put that one away. I don't think we have this one, so let's take this one. This is a Golden... Uh, spotted. What's Spotted? I don't actually remember. I don't know what this egg is. But, um... Th anything that's Golden and I don't recognize means it's probably a new egg. So, at the very, or at the very least, it's a Golden Egg, so... I'll take this one for now. And hopefully it's good enough for, um... Using in battle or whatever. -ing. Humble bird wyvern. Okay, that could be anything, honestly. Can we not stop whistling? Can we stop whistling? Thank you. There we go. So, yeah, um, what else can I do today? I guess I could fight some. If I have time, or if I need to go do a Ray Dray monster, I might just fight some monsters instead and try to get some more parts and whatnot. But I think for now, I'll just focus on getting Wrath back. I could have just taken a shortcut through the Oasis. Why did I have to go all the way around? Ah, oh, that's, that's a pain in the butt. Oh well. I guess it's fair enough. I guess it does say it does say to follow. It did say to follow the um, the very faint, uh, uh, inverted commas, faint uh, sands things lines. Seems to be a few evidence around here too. So if we have any bottle caps, then I'm set for bottle caps for life. So that's good. Looks like we are coming to some ruins, which is kind of cool, I guess. Geez, so far away. Apparently I had a monster that had charge. <laughs> Actually, I do have a monster that has charge, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. There he is. So, this guy can't turn invisible, but if we hit B, he'll go until he... I'm pretty sure he goes until he hits something or a wall. Like it's another monster or a wall. But the catch is that if he, um... If he, um like hit something or a wall like he gets a little bit stunned I'm pretty sure and also I've got like no control like no turning control whatsoever 
Oh, that's a Rage Ray. That's a Rage Ray. Um, hmm. I wasn't expecting that. Was there a... There is a Ketavan back there. Hmm, my bad. I'm going to go back and get that Ketavan. I'm not super confident that I can take a Rage Raid monster. That's the only issue I'm yeah, I'm thinking here. Um, what am I going to do? Uh, you know what? I'll give it a try. Like I said, worst case scenario is I die. Best case scenario is I'm I'm actually overprepared and it's fine. But let's find out. I was not expecting to, to a Rage Raid monster today, though. That means that it's probably going to be kind of a quick episode because I do try to end it after Rage Raid because they do normally go for about 20 minutes to... 20, 20 minute battles, they're quite long battles, and then there's only always a cutscene followed right after it. So, let's head in. Actually, can I go into this den first? I can, so I can ignore the Rage Raid monster and go into the den first. So let's go into the den first. And get another egg. Why not? More eggs, the better. Oh, right away, we got monsters, so I gotta be careful. I wanna try to avoid battles I've already done, and we've already done a plum. Dimitar. It's going to be interesting to see what the Rage Ray monster is. Being in the desert and seeing as how we haven't fought one yet, but we've seen them in the um, in the caves, I would probably wager a Diablos or... I doubt it'll be a Brute, because I think the Brute was the Royal. What else haven't we seen? Um, no, Barriths were in the snow. Sorry, Barriths were in the snow, not Barriths. Barriths are the, are the Saber Cats. Um... Oh, uh, it could be, um, something. It could be the, um... Uh, I can't remember its name. It's off my head. There's, a, there's another, like, digging one. It might be that. But, um... Yeah. Obviously, the Diablos also digs, but... Not gold. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, so that's not... That's not gold either, so we don't we don't need that one. Sorry, that's gold, but... No, we've got that one. Come on, stop it. They're giving me Tiger X. Oh, my... Really? Really? Well, I guess we're going to take this battle. <laughs> so I don't think I've fought a um, Diablos yet. So let's give this, let's give this a, um, give this a go. Is it going to be power? Yeah, that makes sense. I, I expected it to be power, so I'm not shocked by that. Speaking of Diablos, here we are fighting one in here. It seems to be weak to whatever my sword is, which is kind of cool. Why are you going with a power attack, you absolute bonobo? Yeah, so it seems to be weak to ice, which is cool. And he is going for its tail. I'm not sure what power dodge charge does. I don't really want to know what power dodge charge does, but I'm sure I'm about to find out what power dodge charge does. But also, I'm not going to take any damage, so maybe not. Ooh, wow, that was a lot of damage. Yeah, so it looks like we are going for tail first. That's, he, that's what he wants to go for, so I'm going to just go for it as well. If he goes into the ground, I am going to Sonic Bomb him, because as we saw with the um, Cephadrome, if you Sonic Bomb something in the ground, it does do a, it does uh, put it into a trap state, which is really good. Yep, so it has buried under the ground. Let's buried under the ground, let's surprise it. So I'm going to assume he wants me to throw a uh, Sonic Bomb out, so let's see if we're going to find one. Um, pretty sure I have some, don't I? Yep, there we go. Oh, we only have one, so I might see if I can build some, because I am going to need them if the, if the next boss is also at the outpost. If I can make Sonic Bombs, I don't even know if I can make Sonic Bombs. And then he's inflicted with traps, that makes him vulnerable. I don't know if that gives him crits, uh, guaranteed crits. Doesn't seem to, no. That means he can't attack us for a little bit, so I'm happy with that. And we'll just go with the kinship skill. I don't think we've seen this one before, so let's check out the, the Tiger X's uh, kinship skill. Alright, so we actually have seen that before, but we weren't the ones who used it the last time we saw it, so that's still pretty cool to, to actually see it from our side, rather than the enemy side. Still pretty cool ability, still a pretty cool um, effect and all that. Does a lot of damage and we broke its tail, so all of those things are good. <laughs> Let's get some more damage in. I'm assuming that it will probably go speed if it rages. Um, I doubt it will go technique. Maybe it will go technique, but we'll see. I see if it rages. Oh, yep, there we go. 
Um, I'll keep my speed monster out for now, and then if it decides to go technique, then I'll swap it out. I might lose a life um, doing that though, so let's find out. Yeah, it has gone speed, so it will be a tie. It looks like he is going for the pause. Ooh, he hit everyone. Ooh, wow, okay. I'll have to watch out for that. And that chance has a that attack has a high chance to crit, so not super shocking that the Tiger X could crit there. I know that one definitely has a high chance to crit, I just remember it doing that. Oh, I don't need to um I don't need to change monster because I can just ride my Tiger X. <laughs> so he is going with uh, he's going to attack um Dingo there, he's gonna win that fight. Because he's a dumb dumb. That's okay, because he still does more damage than uh, Reverio there, so quite a bit. I don't want to do that. Oh, okay, I can cancel it. I think he's going underground again? No, he's going with a move called Heavyweight. All right. That might be his um, special, like, I'm angry move, so so much damage this does. Ooh. Big hits all around. But he does down himself, so that's very interesting. So we're just going to keep bullying him then, I guess. I'm surprised if I didn't heal himself there, but I guess at the same time he doesn't need to because the monster is currently down, so... 950 damage from that attack, that's insane. The guy is really strong. Uh, is he really back to normal? He is, so I need to switch back to... So he doesn't say... he doesn't seem to stay angry for very long. Big damage on the claws there. Should be his um, thing I've broken. It is. And he's also down. Awesome. Whoop. Keep on accidental on that. I want to wait until Rivera hits these up so we can just one shot it. Doesn't help that he always uses skills. <laughs> he burns through that faster than like most other attacks. Oh, there he goes. He's got it ready now. So here we go. Go a double skinship with Rivera and do huge damage and probably kill it. Yep, there we go. All parts broken, and it is down and out, so that's really good. And I get an egg out of it too. Hopefully, I don't know, I got kind of caught in the cutscene when I bought it, so we will see. We will see. But, um, there we go. So we do actually get all of its drops right away, so we got... Oh, whoa, hang on. So we got Diablo's Shell, the Diablo's Tail, the Twisted Horn, which is its rare drop. But, if this is what I think it is, it is. But it's not worth as much as I thought it was. Okay. Well, this is technically rarer than the rare, but it's not worth as many points. So I'm not sure how rare it is in this game, but the fact that I've only gotten one, and I know there's a couple of monsters that can drop it, is very intriguing. Let's see what kind of egg we have now. So we, I know this one was gold. No, 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 no we don't want this. No, this isn't what we want. Wait, can I not grab more eggs, even though there's more eggs? What's going on? Why is everyone glitched out? Why is no one moving? Um, okay, there we go. Can I not grab any more eggs? There's more eggs there. Interesting. Okay. So I seem to have bugged out the game. Uh, there is more eggs, but I have to take, I guess I have to take this one. I'll have to remember that. So if I fight the monster, I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's because I fought the monster or I wonder if it's because I was digging through the, the eggs and I picked one up and the monster attacked me. I wonder which one caused the glitch out to happen. Um, because either way, I'm not, there's definitely eggs there. Now, just in case this is a monster that can dig, I do want more Sonic Bombs. So can I actually make Sonic Bombs? Um, no, I can't. All right, that could be a problem. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump back to town. Do I have a side quest that gives me Sonic Bombs? I really, really want Sonic Bombs. I can't stress that enough. So let me just check. Um, no, 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 group healing, which I do need to do at some point, vital essence, which I definitely need to do at some point, heal us in no, energy drink, no, flash bomb, damn, alright, I might have to go back and buy some, uh, some bombs then. Yeah, it looks like I'm definitely going to have to go back and buy some bombs. Um, okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to bounce back and buy some bombs. I didn't want to do that, but I'm going to have to because I need those. If, if it is a, if it is a Diablos, 
I'm going to need those um, Sonic Bombs. There's no question about it. It'll it'll just do too much damage and I'll probably definitely lose. So hopefully I can buy some Sonic Bombs, but I'm not really sure where I could bet, buy them from. If I can't, I will try it without the Sonic Bombs. And what I'll try to do is I'll use... Um, I'll see if I can get a Hunting Horn or if I have a Hunting Horn that has Sonic instead. Because that should still work. It's just that the Sonic Bombs are a little bit easy to use, and even though I have the Hunting Horn and all that. Hi, um, yeah, I'll just double check that I definitely have a Hunting Horn that can do that though. Yes, okay, we do have some Sonic Bombs. I'll just get a couple, I'll just get three for now. I don't buy too many because I know I can create them. And then I'll also double check that I have a uh, weapon that has Sonic Blast as its uh, one of its abilities. What does this one do? This one... Um, doesn't. It does not. Alright, um, alright, well I got three Sonic Bombs, that should be enough. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. We've got Kevin. So, so let's, let's head back and do that Rage Ray now. I feel like I'm putting it off, but I shouldn't be. And once again, I didn't switch it to the evening, even though I was meant to be doing an evening thing. Silly, silly me. Oh well. Alright, let's get this Rage Ray done. And probably watch the inevitable cutscene. There's another golden den, but if it's still there, if it's still there and we have time, I'll definitely go into it after the Rage Ray, but for now, I just want to get this Rage Ray done. Don't, don't touch me, don't touch me. Neither of you touch me, gross. Right. Dash. Let's see what it is. I, I'm, I'm guessing either Diablos or, um, what's the other one? I can't, if I can remember the other one they could dig, I would, I would tell you, but I just cannot. So... Legit? A pit opened up here too? What is this? Wow, Shock Horror, it's a Diablos, and it's Rage Raid. It's almost like I called this. There wasn't really much else it could be. We haven't seen a lot of monsters um, in the desert that we haven't fought yet, so. A Diablos house, this will be a tough battle. We need to catch up with Ina. Well, we already know that it's going to attack us with power, and I already know that its weakness was water, and I already know its weakness, that's uh, so not water, ice, and I already know its weakness to ice is, um, and its tail is weak to sword, so. 500 damage. Oh, it's strong. I guess Rage Raid have a bit more defense than normal. Okay. That's still fine. It's still fine. Okay, I'll do a sync move with him instead of my monster then, I guess. Head to head. There you go. That's better. 500 damage. <laughs> Gets a bit of damage down there. That doesn't do part breaking damage. It's interesting. No, that's not what I want to see. Hang on a minute. Right, let's change that a little bit. There we go. I really hate when the monster that's supposed to do something doesn't do the move it's supposed to do. Charge tackle speed. I don't know. I don't know how an AI decides what attack they're going to use against the monster. I, I like to believe that they just know, but sometimes they just yeah, they just don't seem to do the right thing. All right, let's switch out the Naga. The uh, Tiger X has been a little bit of a pain in the butt. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I wish the Tiger X was actually using the speed attacks, but, you know, can't, can't force it constantly or I'm never going to have any energy to ride it, so... I think it's a little bit cheaper. You throw it underground, you know what to do, right buddy? I sure do, because we just fought one. So, where we go with these... Uh, where is it? There we go, so here we go. Let's Sonic bomb this little, this little nugget out of the ground. I get that that's supposed to pull aggro to him, and that's really cool, but at the same time, I don't think he's ever done it successfully. Nice one, Gideo. Sonic Bombs are perfect for flushing out burrowing monsters. I'm surprised he didn't say that when we were fighting the, um, didn't teach us that when we were fighting the Cephadrome. That's kind of interesting. That's okay, though. Yes, go with Sharpen Blade. That's actually a good idea. Because the other is kind of doing it. Stop him, so. Will this break his tail off? 
my... Ooh, not quite, not quite. Almost, though. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. He's going to take a lot of damage here. He gets his tail. Oh no, he didn't take a lot of damage there. I guess because he's a hunter. He has so much defense. Absolutely insane. No crit off that. Now it's switched up its moves. If it ever forgets to attack back before it's too late. As if regular wasn't enough to deal with. Alright. So we are going to switch to... Um, what did he go? He went... He went... Uh, so he goes speed now, so we want technical. I've now got two almost four monsters of energy. Last time I just stayed on the monster because I could tell it to do technical, but this time I didn't get that luxury. Uh, I'm pretty sure this tripped it over, so let's go for its um, feet. Oh yes, of course, because the um, Zemtrios would be doing ice damage now too. So it's getting double ice damage at the moment. That's actually really funny. Oh, what did my Zemtrios go with? Okay, well, thank you Zemtrios. I'm glad you teamed up with me there. Literally no one used a technical attack there. How did that happen? Okay. Don't know how that happened, but it did. Um, it's also not weak to my sword. Well, it's weak to the ice part of my sword. Actually, it doesn't matter because the bo the bosses don't take extra damage. So I just, just, just stay with my ice weapon. <laughs> Big damage from me and Rivera there. Oh, he's using focus power. So he's going to use that super attack now. So what I'm going to do to stop that is use my ult. Because that means he won't be able to use it. And that means he'll look like a fool. Okay. Yep, he is going with heavyweight, so I was right. Got some freezing spouts, which we've seen before. Big damage on the Diablos there. And that should also calm him down, I think. Oh, no, never mind. We got a power clash here instead. It's interesting that power clash doesn't do the damage that a um that their normal attack would do. So it does seem to still be mad. Oh, that might be rage raids. It's a little bit hard to tell. It's not panting. Right, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to take a calculated risk here. Uh, switch to the Nagakuga because the the Tiger X doesn't like to play nice and use its moves. And he also still has that um, thing on. I'm going to take a calculated risk here and I'm going to pay for it. You watch. Ah ha I, I, I worked. <laughs> I assumed because it used its ability that it had uh, stopped berserking, so that assumption seems to have been the correct course of action there. What are you doing, you foolish fool? Alright, that's okay. I don't mind when I can ride it because it means I can just do stuff like this and it will just die. Yep, like that. <laughs> Hopefully Vivrodo can get his up pretty quickly too. And then with that, we can do an ult and kill it like I did with the last one. Oh, this one should have a little bit more HP just due to the fact that it is a um, Rage Raid monster, so we'll have to wait and see. Victory. And I'm taking damage because there's no double attacks at the moment. Ooh, almost, almost. He's about to fight the Diablos though, so he will probably um, draw. Yeah. He won't take much damage though, so that's fine. Yeah. But he's maxed out, so that's fine. Ooh, but we can't hit him with his, um... That's interesting. So what's he going to go with then? Dragon Tremor Slash. Does that mean you can hit the monster in the ground? Can we hit the monster with Kinship? Look, I'm going to try it. If it misses, I'm going to be absolutely... In... I'm going to be really annoyed. And if it hits, I'm going to be blown away. So let's find out. <laughs> I'm going to be super shocked if this hits. I guess it hits because we blow up the area. That's... Um... Uh, um, okay. Okay, then. <laughs> I don't really understand how the logic, the logistics behind that works, but I guess if you blow up an entire section of the world, um, you blast everything under the ground, and the ground under the ground. So, that's cool, I suppose. But it did immediately try to go for another dig, so I'm going to immediately go for another, um, another Sonic Bomb. And see how that works out. Sonic Bomb! Ah, <laughs> yep, stuck. That's great. I'm pretty sure after like two or three, he'll start to become into it. That's how that. That's kind of how it works in Monsana. Like once they, once you use it a few times, they're like, eh, yeah, yeah, I'm immune now. But um, 
Yeah, until it becomes immune, I'm just gonna keep throwing Sonic Bombs at it. You gonna get mad? Nah. It's gonna get dead, though. That's, that's, that's something that's about to happen. Do I take a bit of damage? Yeah, I do. Okay. Get some Spike Bomb action. I like that he uses a lot of skills, but also at the same time, um, I don't like that he uses a lot of skills. <laughs> oh, he's always attacking me. Um, let's switch. To, let's get the Blue Young Kuku out for a little bit. The only one we won't be seeing today is the Jade Barret, unfortunately. He doesn't have three forms like the um, Rage Raid Luke Rayu Chris did. Not like Rayu Chris, um, like Yana, sorry. So unfortunately, we won't see it. We will not see the Jade Barath come out today. That's okay. Maybe another, maybe later, or maybe another time. So. Yeah, this is a very this is getting very quick, very fast because he's um very weak to me. Knowing a monster's weakness before you fight it is a little bit unfair. There we go. We actually defeated a Diablo. Thanks for all your help, guys. Reminds me, remind me, remind me to treat you doing it sometime. So these giant pits really do show up whenever most monsters are going crazy. Wonder what the connection is. So there we go. So that's another Diablo is down, but this one was Rage Raid. And once again, uh, you get its rare drop and its uncommon drop. So I could probably build the Diablo's gear, which would be much better armor than the armor I'm currently in. So I might actually look into that. Um, but for now, I think that a raid, Rage Raid monster is a good place to stop. That's another monster made violent by that light. Unreal. These are crazy times we're living in. Well, what's making these pits pop up anyway? They've got to be related to the Rathalos, don't you think? Drooling Devil Joe! Don't tell me you believe that legend! I'm talking about the imbalance of the ecosystem. Everything's interconnected. Tons of Rathalos vanish, and strange pits appear. There's no way it's a coincidence. The weirdness began before Ratha hatched. It was the appearance of the pits that started it all off. Well, my buddy's grandpa was investigating these pits way before all this craziness started. Now it's up to us to finish what he started. We're gonna get to the bottom of these mysterious pits. Completing your gramps' unfinished task. Shooting for the stars, huh, kid? <laughs> well then. Let's catch that ship. Alrighty, so we will head back to the caravan because I feel like I'm going to go forward and there's going to be a huge, long cutscene and I'm going to be trapped in forever. But, in saying that, is this a rare den or a common den? It's very hard to tell when they're in the shadows. I think it's a common den. Yeah, which would mean that that one's also a common den. So we're going to we're gonna bounce back. I might quickly do that other rare den because, I, like I said, I want to get some more eggs. Um, for abilities, just for different, uh, different monsties, kind of stuff like that. So I will jump, quickly run all the way back to that, um, other den. Hopefully I can avoid the Sefta drum like I did last time. And I have. Awesome. So we are going to head into this red end here. And then after this red end, I will head to the caravan that's close by and I'll end the episode there. Just because, whoop, oh, okay, I didn't realize that the red beta stopped. That's fun. Um, just because, yeah, it would, it, rage rays take a while. They take about 15, 20 minutes. Um, so they do take a little bit, which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. That's okay. They're worth it in the end. Oop. Let's try to switch to it. Let's try to switch to the um, Naga while we're kind of hiding. Let's see if I can turn invisible. That ain't going to happen, though. Okay. Don't feel like fighting a Gypsaurus. Wait, is that a different colored one? Are these purple? Oh, these could be different kinds of Gypsauruses. I might have to fight one of these. I might have to come back and fight one of these sometime. Um, see if we can get this. Yep, we can. I can't in there. So it seems that the game's giving us life powers like crazy at this point. Um, so I am going to have to be a bit more um, careful when it comes to that. So this is a Tiger X. Ah, oh, okay. I don't really want to fight a Tiger X right now. I'll just see what egg I can get that's gold. Hopefully I don't wake the damn thing up. If I do, then uh oh I have to fight a Tiger X, but um, I fought a Tiger X before, so if I end up in battle with the Tiger X, you guys will see whatever one I get, whatever egg I get. So you guys take that one. Ah, uh, no, I won't. I don't want that. I already got one of those. And I already got one of those too. All right, take whatever this one is. 
Ah, freaking! Oh no! Run, run, run! Wait, did it not wake up? I do not understand how monsters work in this game. He should have woken up there. I thought that the theory was that it works up, wakes up once you get all the eggs, but that didn't happen. And last time, the Diablos came in before I got all the eggs as well, so that was also wrong. So I, I guess it is still kind of random, but it's no longer affected by collecting the things around the area. Which is um, kind of a shame, but that's okay. Alright, so we got another humble flying wyvern one there. So we've got a couple of those now. But, um, here we go. Alrighty then, so I think it's pretty safe to stop here because I'm next to a save point and all that jazz. So thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, wherever you are, stay safe and be well.